Well, it just opened weeks ago, and now LA's newest attraction, the Sky Slide, is already facing a lawsuit. CBS 2's Christine Lazar joins us with details on what happened. And Christine, you spoke to the woman who's suing. Yeah, Paul, the woman who filed this lawsuit, she was here in Los Angeles on vacation. She describes herself as a thrill seeker, but she says this slide is not safe for riders. Taking a thrilling ride down the glass slide at the top of the 72 story U.S. Bank Tower was the first thing on Gail Yashar's to do list when she arrived in LA with her husband over the 4th of July weekend. It was all over the news the week before in New York. I figured, all right, good place to start. But how the ride ended isn't how Yashar envisioned. She was recording on her cell phone as she came down the slide. The next thing I know, I tumble down onto my head. So I basically go head over heels. And I pick up my head and there's everybody laughing. On the video, you can hear Yashar was laughing too, but then you hear her say, Ow. And I tried to get up and I realized I can't, I can't stand on my foot. Yashar says she broke her ankle and was rushed to the hospital, where doctors here recommended surgery. Now back in New York, awaiting a second opinion, Yashar has filed a lawsuit against the operators of the slide. This is life changing for me. Um, I'm, I'm an active athletic person, and uh, you know this is not this isn't a simple break that um, that is going to necessarily necessarily heal. Yashar's attorney, Barry Novak, says the slide's design is faulty, that riders come down too fast as they dismount the slide, and that there's a gap between the end of the slide and cushions placed on the ground. That's where Yashar says she got her foot stuck. One of the purposes of the lawsuit is to try and get them to change and do something. The reason I say this is um, my client was told at the scene that she's not the first one that had an ankle uh, Problem. Novak says a woman emailed him this video of her coming off the slide and falling onto her head. Novak says riders don't sign a waiver of liability, but there is fine print at the bottom of their ticket. To have the public buy a ticket, then get this paper, and it's a non refundable ticket, and say on the paper you've waived your rights is unconscionable. There is no dollar amount mentioned in the lawsuit for damages. Yashar says she has not heard from the operator of the slide and that they did not offer to pay her medical bills. We did reach out to the operator of the slide, and while they acknowledge that they're aware of this lawsuit, they did not comment any further. Pat and Paul, back to you.